What was that? Something obviously set off the snare trap. It sounded... Dig. No, you nincompoop. Not like a big rabbit. Something bigger. Bigger than the biggest rabbit you've ever seen. I don't know. Maybe a deer or something. A crocodilly? You mean a crocodile? A crocodile. All the way out here. I should really teach you how to read someday. No. Maybe not a crocodile. Or crocodilly, as you say. Could be something more dangerous, though. Boys, draw your weapons. Let's approach slowly. Don't want to scare it. certainly are some lovely doe eyes. <laughs> Boys, lower your weapons already. Stupid of me to assume that you would just put your guns away. We hunt animals now, not people. Miss, I do apologize for the rudeness of my comrades. We were just, well, expecting something else. No, not a crocodile. <laughs> Please excuse his dim-wittedness. Please! <sighs> All right, miss. Don't you go struggling now. I ain't gonna hurt you. Let me just... There. Now you're free. Can you stand? Oh my. She even staggers like a doe. Oof. That's a nasty rope burn on your ankle there. Here. Why don't you follow us back to camp, my dear? I'll bandage that ankle right up for you. I know we might seem like a band of fools, but I promise you, my boys and I can do a real proper wrap job on that burn. And with some pretty good cooks, too. I'm sure you're hungry after being out here for so long. Who are we? Oh, <laughs> how silly of me not to introduce myself. My name's Otto, and these are my companions. We call ourselves the Princes of Marybury Woods. Yes, well, I suppose the name's a bit of a work in progress. Many people refer to us as the Bum Bandits of Maybury. Well, to be quite honest, we really aren't the best bandits. If bandits at all. We're really just some thieves trying to live in peace. Do we break the law at times? Yes. Do we steal sometimes? Also yes. But there's never really any malintent behind it. We're just looking out for ourselves. Well, most of us here are outcasts from society, or even exiles from other kingdoms. Hmm, well, I guess it does sound a bit scary when you mention it. But this band of brothers is one of the most lovable communities you'll ever meet the west of the Wainola River. What's my story? <laughs> well, maybe if you get lucky, one day you'll find out. <laughs> but enough about me. What about you, Doe Eyes? What are you doing all the way out here? All by your little lonesome. <laughs> Wait. Don't tell me. You're a robber. On the run from the authorities. You've been exiled from your kingdom for some heinous crimes. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You're not the one to hurt a butterfly, are you? So maybe you're a nymph of some sort. 
a runaway. <laughs> so you're starting a whole new life. You could have told me anything you wanted. And you decided to tell the truth? How do I know you're telling the truth? Well, I can see it in your doe eyes for one. And there's nothing but innocence there. How can I tell? Uh, let's just say I spent a lot of time studying. Well, yeah. I guess it's one of the reasons I seem to be adopted as some sort of leader for this group of men. You see, many of them can't read or write. Growing up, they're much more concerned with working and surviving. Me? Interesting. <laughs> That's a coincidence. I think you're interesting, too. Hmm. So what if I don't know anything about you? I'm quite curious. And curiosity, after all, is what drives interest. <laughs> How long have I been an outlaw? Who says I'm an outlaw? Well... I suppose being a leader of this group of thieves would make it seem so. Truthfully, I've only been with these men for about a month now, and I feel like I've known them for my entire life. Why am I out here? Well, to be quite honest, I'm a bit of a runaway like yourself. Not many people know that, though. I like to keep my past life a bit quiet. That's why I left it behind, after all. I much prefer it out here. Hey. You all right? You're kind of wincing and limping there. Your ankle? Hmm. Suppose it would be quite sore after walking all this way in over broken terrain. Well, the camp isn't much further. You think you can make it? Okay. If you say so. Here, uh, wrap your arm around my neck. I can support you around the waist. Yeah. Don't be afraid to put your weight on me. I can take it. Oh. My heart's that bad, huh? Here. Let me just carry the rest of the way. <clears throat> No, I don't mind at all. Just wrap your arms around my neck and hang tight, okay? I promise it won't be much longer. No, I don't mind. You've probably done a lot of running to make it all the way out here. You deserve to be off your feet for a while. Besides, it's been way too long since I've seen such a beautiful woman, let alone carry one in my arms. <laughs> hmm. Who says a lowly thief can't be a bit flirtatious? Ah. Is that a blush I see in those cheeks? <laughs> oh. Don't hide your face, though, eyes. The least you can do is look up at me. Consider it payment for carrying you all this way. No, I don't think it'd be a good idea for you to walk. I'll just tuck my charm away for now. At least until we get your wound taken care of. So little runaway. Where are you running to, then? You're not sure. Fair enough, I suppose. You're probably more concerned with what you're running from than what you're running to. I understand. I'll stop asking questions, then. Besides, we finally made it to camp. <laughs> Don't worry, Doe Eyes. I'm taking you right to the medical tent. Here we are. I'll just set you right down here. <laughs> and there we go. Now just sit back and relax. I'm gonna elevate your ankle, okay? Hey, Alexander. How are you? Who's this? 
Well, this poor thing got caught by our snare over by the creek. Yeah, she got some nasty rope burn on her ankle where the rope got her. You think you could work your magic? <laughs> Doe eyes. So funny for looking at me like that. It's not real magic. Alexander's medicine's the closest thing I've seen to magic in this world. You're in good hands. I promise. <laughs> and there you go, giving me that funny look again. What is it, Doe eyes? What happened to him? Well, Alexander's mute, you see. His tongue was cut off for talking back to a priest in his kingdom. Yeah. Brutal, right? That was a long time ago. It doesn't hurt him anymore. He has his own way of communicating now, and we've all picked up on it. All right, now? He's, uh, dipping some bandages in some paste. He'll wrap your ankle with it soon. It'll be cold, though. go. Oh. He says he's going to put a layer of bandages on the top. And all done. Yeah. Uh, I want you to leave this on for three days. And then you're free to cut it off and it'll be as good as new. Thanks, Alexander. Oh. Good timing. I guess that means dinner's ready. You hungry? Yeah? Well, come on then. I'm pretty sure tonight's rabbit stew. You're gonna love it. Hank! The food smells amazing. You think we can spare a bowl for this lovely maiden tonight? Here you are, Doe Eyes. Up. Oh, make sure you let it cool before you drink it. We wouldn't want to make Alexander fix up another burn for you now, would we? Here. Come take a seat next to me. Hmm. This might be the best batch of rabbit stew I've ever had. You should try it. I <laughs> saw so those eyes light up. Told you we had some great cooks around here. I know we all look big and tough, but we're not really once you get to know us. Hank may be missing an eye, but he makes sure everyone gets fed every day. Arthur over there is the one with the missing hand. He lost his hand serving in the army. They discharged him, but he didn't have any family to go to. So he left and found us. Bartholomew is the one sitting over the tree over there. He may have scars all over his back, but he's amazing with animals. There's a cat somewhere around here that always follows him around. So you can see, Doe Eyes. Even though everyone thinks we're big scary bandits. They're wrong. We're not the bad guys. No matter what people want to think. We're just a group of people that had nowhere else to go. Is that a smile I see on your face? <laughs> I'm glad to see you smile. You look like you had a rough day if not a couple of rough days. You're more than welcome to stay here for the night if you want. Would you like that? Well, we're happy to have you then. Do you have any plans for what you might do or where you might go next? Just following the river? I guess that makes sense with you getting caught up by the creek then. You're a smart girl. You know that? You know, there's something about you that makes you seem almost familiar, you know? I almost feel like you understand me without even having to speak. And you're really easy to talk to. I gotta be careful around you, or else I might end up spilling all my secrets. Is that a smirk, Doe? <laughs> hmm. You look really cute when you look like you want something, you know? So what is it you want? 
You want to know my secrets? In time. In time. I'm more curious about what kind of secrets you're hiding behind those innocent looking eyes. I'll never know, huh? Hmm. Playing hard to get, I see. Well, I've already caught you once, Doe Eyes. I'm sure I could catch you again. <sighs> I have an idea. How'd you like to play a game? A game I like to call Two Lies and a Truth. It's very simple. I'll tell you three statements about myself. Two are lies, and one's true. And you have to guess which one's true. What do you say? What happens if you guess wrong? Well, I guess you'll never know what's true then. Okay. Let me think real quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got it. I prefer cats over dogs. My favorite subject was English. And I read to children every Sunday. Which one's the truth? The first one? That I prefer cats over dogs? And that's your final guess? Sadly, you'd be wrong. That was a lie. Now it's your turn. You studied archery, have three brothers, and you hate peas. Hmm. It's a tough list, though. My guess is you hate peas. That was a lie. Ah, I'm pretty good at this, huh? I thought for sure I'd be able to tell when you lied. Maybe I'm not so good at reading people as I thought. My turn again, then. I served in the army. I have one tattoo. And I have two sisters. Which one's the truth? I did not serve in the army. <laughs> no, I'm not going to tell you which one's the truth. Because that's not how the game works. All right, your turn. <laughs> wow, it's really dark out here now, huh? How did I not notice? <laughs> well, I was a little busy looking at your face, doe eyes. It just seems to light up the dark. Oh, are you shivering? Looks like the bonfire died down. Maybe we should get inside. I don't want you catching a cold after all. Yeah, intent is this way, doe eyes. You can grab my hand and I'll guide you. I'll go ahead and light my oil lamp. Yeah, it's not much, but I got some blankets and pillows. Feel free to sleep on that cot over there. I'll go sleep on the floor. Oh, I insist, though, eyes. I'd never ask you to sleep on the cold floor, especially not after the day you've had. <laughs> Let me put it this way. I am going to sleep on the floor. If you'd like to join me, you're more than welcome to. But the cot will still be available to you. Now, did you want someone to sleep in? I got some linen shorts and shorts or... A shirt? Okay. Here you go. Alright. I'll go turn around and close my eyes. Actually, why don't you turn around and close your eyes too? I'll go ahead and change as well. Okay, I'm done. Are you done? Alright. Let's turn back around in the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> you beat me to it. Hey, you mind me being without a shirt? I can put one on if it makes you more comfortable. No? Okay. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do other than lay down.
Good night, Doe Eyes. <laughs> Good night again, Doe Eyes. You know, I wish I could tell you the truth, Doe. And the truth being that I'm a prince. I'm royalty that couldn't fulfill their duty. I ran away because I couldn't marry a girl I never met. Especially just for power. You'd never know the guilt I felt for leaving my family, my subjects. Mm. Duty eats me alive sometimes. You know, something in your eyes makes me think you'd understand somehow. I've never met anyone like you before. And meeting you makes me think I made the right choice somehow. I hope you stick around. But I understand if I woke up tomorrow and you were gone. Good night, Doe.